Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the HTML layout.dll file is missing from your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So just to be completely frank, this is probably going to be related either to a malware or virus infection on your computer, in which case you might want to run an antivirus scan such as a VAST or Malwarebytes or some sort of on-demand scanner perhaps and just see if there's any viruses or adware that might be remaining on your computer. Might be some remnant file that's creating this DLL issue. Another thing we can go ahead and try here would be to actually reset the browser settings for the browser you're having the problem on. So I'm going to actually go and try different browsers and see if you're experiencing the same issue if this is a browser based problem and see if you are recreating this issue on different browsers. If you notice it's only one browser in particular that's having the issue, I would recommend trying to reset that browser settings back to default. And I will show you guys how to do that with Google Chrome for today's tutorial. You're welcome to do this with other browsers browsers as well, but since Google Chrome has the vast majority of the desktop browser market share, I'm going to just use this for our example here. So we're going to select the settings icon on the top right corner of the browser screen. Go ahead and left click on that. And then select the settings. Scroll down near the bottom of this page where it says advanced and go ahead and left click on that. Scroll down again and select where it says restore settings to their original defaults and go ahead and left click on that. This action will reset Chrome extensions and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions as well as deleting cookies and other temporary site data, bookmarks, history, and safe passwords won't be affected. Please keep in mind, even though it says that, there's always a chance that you might have data loss as a result of this, so make sure you have everything backed up and saved. You know, just you know, if there's anything pertinent, just want to make sure that you keep, you know, the possibility open that stuff could get deleted. But generally speaking, this is pretty much what you were going to get based on what it's saying here. And I'm going to actually uncheck the option to make Chrome better by reporting this. So you can keep it checked if you want. I'm just going to unselect it in my case. And I'm going to then proceed to select Reset Settings. And then once that's done, you should close out of here. Restart your computer. And then hopefully that should be about it, guys. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.